Before we start this video, please make sure that you subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss our new videos. The chicken is a type of domesticated fowl, a subspecies of the red jungle fowl. Domestication of the chicken dates back to at least 2000 BC, and their ancestry can be traced back to four species of wild jungle fowl from Southeast Asia. However, the red jungle fowl is the most commonly found wild species in the world today, and is considered the main ancestor of the domestic chicken. The sport of cockfighting had tremendous influence not only in the domestication of the chicken, but also on the distribution of fowl throughout the world. After centuries of selection and breeding for numerous extremes, chickens now exist in many colors, sizes, and shapes. For that reason, stay with us as we are counting down the 10 of the most beautiful chickens in the world. Number 10. The Seabright is a British breed of bantam chicken. It is named after Sir John Saunders Seabright, who created it as an ornamental breed by selective breeding in the early 19th century. Despite their popularity, Seabrights are often difficult to breed, and the inheritance of certain unique characteristics the breed carries has been studied scientifically. As a true bantam, all Seabrights are very small in stature. Males weigh an average of 22 ounces, 625 grams, and females 20 ounces, 570 grams. Their short backs, proportionally large breasts, and downward pointing wings combine to create an angular, jaunty look. Because of that, they are largely ornamental chicken. They lay tiny white eggs and are not kept for meat production. Number 9. The Sundheimer is a chicken's breed from Sundheim, which is a town in the Kel am Rhein rural district of southwestern Germany. It was originally developed to be a good meat bird, but it has also good laying abilities. The breeds involved in developing the Sundheimer aren't known, but mainly they are light feathered local chickens in the area. The Sundheimer has a single comb, red earlobes, and whitish yellow legs with light feathering, which extends to cover the outer toe. They are tame birds indeed that grow and fatten rapidly and provide meat of high quality. The Sundheimer is available only in the Colombian color variety. Number eight, the Booted Bantam, or Dutch Booted Bantam is a Bantam breed of chicken. Its name is derived from the extravagant feathering on the feet and hock joints, which are called vulture hocks or sables in Dutch. Males usually weigh in at around 850 grams, 30 ounces, and females 750 grams, 27 ounces. Almost exclusively an exhibition chicken, raised by poultry fanciers, they appear in more than 20 color varieties. Long kept as pets in addition to being shown, Booted bantams are usually friendly and calm. They are good foragers and are said to do less damage to garden plants because of their heavily feathered feet. However, most breeders keep their booted bantams confined and on soft bedding in order to maintain these feathers. Number seven, the Onagadori is a historic Japanese breed of chicken characterized by an exceptionally long tail. It was bred in the 17th century in Kochi prefecture and was designated a Japanese National Natural Treasure in 1952. The principal characteristic of the Onagadori is its exceptionally long tail, which exceeds 1.5 meters and has been known to reach 12 meters. The tail consists of about 16 to 18 feathers, which under the right conditions never molt and grow rapidly, gaining some 0.7 to 1.3 meters per year. Three color varieties are recognized, black-breasted white, black-breasted red, and white. Genetic study suggests that the black-breasted white was the original type, and that the others were created by crossbreeding with birds of other breeds. Number six. The Sumatra is a breed of chicken native of the island of Sumatra in Indonesia. These chickens were originally imported from Sumatra in 1847 to the US and Europe as fighting cocks for the purpose of entertainment but today the breed is primarily kept for exhibition. They are primarily an ornamental breed kept for their attractive plumage. Most often they are a lustrous black with a green sheen throughout the body and tail. However, the breed comes in blue and white varieties 
as well as the unstandardized splash, a natural result of breeding blue chickens. This breed is considered a primitive one, as it retains a strong flying ability, unlike most modern chicken breeds. Number 5. Sarama originates in the Malaysian state of Kelantan, apparently through the crossing of Japanese and Malaysian bantams. Other stories of the birds derived from a gift of some small chickens by the king of Thailand to a local sultan in ancient times. The breed was first exhibited in 1990, but it was hit hard by the Asian bird flu epidemic in 2004, when many birds were culled amid government concerns. There are no written standards for the breed in its native country. However, they do now have an overall guide on scoring and judging for competitions in Malaysia. Many breeders have a style or type that they breed to, but often breeders keep several styles. Hence, there is quite a lot of diversity in Malaysia, but an overall theme of a small, brave chicken with a persona of fearless warrior or toy soldier. Number 4. The Grey Jungle Fowl also known as Sonorat's jungle fowl, one of the wild ancestors of domestic fowl, together with the red jungle fowl and other jungle fowls. A gene from the gray jungle fowl is responsible for the yellow pigment in the legs and different body parts of all the domesticated chicken. A more recent study revealed multiple gray jungle fowl genomic regions introgressed the genome of domestic chicken, with evidence of some domestic chicken genes also found in the gray jungle fowl. Endemic to India, the male gray jungle fowl has a black cape with ochre spots and the body plumage on a gray ground collar is finely patterned. The elongated neck feathers are dark and end in a small hard yellowish plate, where this peculiar structure makes them popular for making high-grade artificial flies. In fact, as gray jungle fowl have been bred domestically in England since 1862, their feathers have been commercially supplied from domestic UK stocks for fly tying since 1978. Number 3. Phoenix chicken is a beautiful bird which is typically raised as an ornamental breed. It is a long-tailed chicken breed originating in Germany, where Hugo du Roy, who was the first president of the National German Poultry Association, created the phoenix chicken in the late 19th century. The phoenix chicken has a pheasant-like appearance, and they are notable for their exceptional long tail. The tail may reach 90 centimeters or more, as this breed is derived from crossbreeding of imported long-tailed Japanese birds, similar to the onagadori with other breeds. There are many color varieties of the phoenix chicken, and their plumage color vary depending on the variety. Number 2. The Sri Lankan jungle fowl, also known as the Ceylon jungle fowl, is endemic to Sri Lanka, where it is the national bird. It is closely related to the red jungle fowl, the wild jungle fowl from which the chicken was domesticated. However, a whole genome molecular study rather show that Sri Lankan jungle fowl and gray jungle fowl are genetically sister species than with the red jungle fowl. Sri Lankan jungle fowl and red jungle fowl diverged about 2.8 million years ago, whereas time of divergence between the Sri Lankan jungle fowl and gray jungle fowl was 1.8 million years ago. The main characteristics of this bird are the comb with a yellow center, along with the golden feathers of the mane descending from head to base of spine. The Sri Lankan jungle fowl are island species that have evolved side by side with their similarly stranded island predators and competitors. Uniquely complex anti-predator behaviors and foraging strategies are integral components in the long evolutionary story. Number 1. The Green Jungle Fowl, also known as Javan Jungle Fowl, Fork Tail or Green Javanese Jungle Fowl, is the most distantly related and the first to diverge at least four million years ago among the four species of the jungle fowl. The coloration of the green jungle fowl is sexually dimorphic. The male's plumage is dark and blackish at a distance. A closer view reveals an iridescent mantle of gleaming scales reminiscent in color and pattern to those seen in the oscillated turkey and green peafowl. Each scale is vivid blue at its base and moves through various shades of gold and bronzed green. Specialized plumes framing the throat of the male green jungle fowl are highly light reflective 
and appear violet at the proximal and sky blue at the distal edges. The green jungle fowl is being maintained and increasingly bred in captivity as its genetic diversity is disappearing. This is because these birds are bred with domestic chickens by many people, producing a hybrid known as the Bekisar, 